Hey guys, what's up? ZBLDS here, and welcome to what is the start of a grand new Titanic project. Uh, the last Titanic project I know has been kind of quiet since last year now, but enough about that. I'll explain that in a second. There is more urgent business to attend to, mainly Mr. Deg Koalas, who a lot of you may know. I work hello, with hello. him on the Titanic Inspector series on his channel. Yep. And uh, so why don't you continue on with the news? Yeah, sure. Okay. So the reason why he is in this video and two other assistants are going to be helping me on this new project, Mr. DZ Lankowski and Kevin Moen, right now. Hopefully we'll be able to get some more people and we'll discuss that in a second. But the new project we're working on and why I need so many... Uh, really well qualified builders is cuz of that turn beast. around here yeah uh, <laughs> as you can see this is the start of the uh, hole on my new titanic uh, i'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering what the scale is which is it is 4 to 1 scale so that in lengthwise that's going to be 1076 blocks long making it as far as i can tell on the interwebs, the largest Minecraft Titanic to date. There's a yeah. there's another Russian team that's been working on a four to one scale, but you don't they have really, yeah, it's also four to one. I've checked it out. It's pretty cool and I'll probably give a link to it because theirs is pretty far along in progress, but there are it's, still errors in Yeah, there's one. still errors in it, and it's a little off-scale, but that's to be expected. However, I've been able to acquire, and this is one of the main reasons I decided to start this new Titanic, is because along with my old blueprints that I use on uh, using the books uh, Titanic, The Ship Magnificent, Volume 1 and 2, I've now been able to purchase uh, digital plans, so now I can put those into Photoshop, kind of like I do with the airport and the airplanes is I can draw out the blueprints as accurately as possible, laying them one over the next, you know, deck by deck. And mm -hmm. therefore, we get a really accurate hole. And Minecraft is not loading for me with these fancy shaders. Well, you do have a huge ship. Yeah. Well, the start of a huge ship, and uh, I'm sure if computer can't process it. But uh, I guess the main reason... We kind of already discussed the main reason why we were doing this video is because this ship is huge. And we it's need take people a... that are willing to help out on it, pretty much. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll explain what, what we're kind of looking for when uh, with our help. Um, let's see. I guess we'll start with – we're going to have to put an age limit on this, which is going to be 15 years old. So sorry for our younger viewers. Uh who are watching this um i mean we talked about it a bit before we uh decided to before yeah. when we were coming up with ideas and we finally decided to have an age limit we we're gonna you're right have an age limit because we were gonna ask our viewers this is uh, this video is also gonna go up on dead koala's channel so it is anyone right so anyone on his channel feel free to apply as well and we'll talk about that but just getting the age limit thing out of the way. The reason yeah. why we have it is just because a lot of, I don't know, Mr. D, Kevin Moen, those guys. So the age limit is 15, and really that's just because we kind of need people that are usually, you know, a little bit more disciplined. Like, this is going to be on a schedule. Yeah. Which probably, the reason that I kind of am hesitant to talk about the schedules because in two days like probably a day after this video goes up on my channel i'm going to be leaving for this cornell and it just got really dark it did yeah it did so. <laughs> yeah i'm going to be leaving for a uh, college summer thing for six weeks and so i'm not going to have my usual programs to edit so a lot of this stuff is just going to be building this titanic so mm. i apologize there's going to be videos still I'll try to get some stuff up but maybe anyway. have some update videos but yeah anyways so that's really why the age limit um 
But I guess other thing, if, if you guys are over age of 15 and you were interested in helping, um, something that would be good to have, and you guys, this is a necessity, but it would be really great if you guys have it, are uh, the books Titanic, the Ship, Magnif- uh, the Ship Magnificent. Uh, either books are, would be fine, uh, but they are basically the books that pretty much say everything about the ship. Um, if you have them, uh, great. We'd really like you. We'd really like your help because they're amazing reference material. Yeah, they're pretty invaluable for people who, yeah. on this scale, because a lot of the details are going to come into a play. Exactly. That on smaller scales, wouldn't necessarily be like necessary to know like the really fine stuff that mm. isn't normally seen on smaller Minecraft replicas. Yeah, and if you don't have it, that's no big deal. Like, if you need to look at a reference picture, we can always scan our books and send you a picture. We have lots of uh, reference pictures that we can just send you. So oh, yeah, I've been collecting a ton for this project. Yeah. Uh, next thing we would like you uh, guys to have, uh, if you're going to help us, is uh, to have Skype and a microphone, a working microphone, so we could talk because typing is very inefficient yeah <laughs> especially if you're trying to describe something that's kind of specific it's you can't just say oh <laughs> the red thing <laughs> <laughs> and then like wait uh, for another two and a half minute response wait time as they yeah. type yeah um the other thing is minecraft you can't help us unless you have minecraft <laughs> mm-hmm. as stupid as that sounds i've gotten people who've tried downloading my titanic and without minecraft and asking if they could s- install it so um but the other thing is uh, Hamachi. Uh, we like you guys to get Hamachi, and because yeah, uh, I uh, I uh, run the server, and when I go to the university, I'm going to be on their servers, and so I won't be able to do any port forwarding or any special type of stuff like that. And so, really, the only way for me to get the server out for people to join is going to be through Hamachi itself. So make sure if you want to apply that you are able to. Have that. Acquire, yeah, and if you, we can show you how to get it. We can give you links and everything. So it's it's a pretty easy install. Yep. So we are. So yeah, just to repeat again, we are looking for people that have experience researching and building Titanics. Yep. Like have good knowledge that would be willing to help on the project. You know, when we are on and working, because I mean, just how long it took to get from the stern to the bow. <laughs> pretty crazy and yeah just looking at it's pretty uh intimidating yeah, just think about all the yeah. stuff we're gonna have to do for it yeah so why don't you go ahead and explain uh the, the form, application uh, the... yeah the form yeah so if you are interested in helping with this project uh you can see the form flash up on screen now that's just this is all the information that you're gonna have as you can see it's gonna have your name what you want to be called it doesn't have to be your real name it could be like a minecraft name like dead koalas yeah. like that that that's no matter age, um, fifteen gotta at least be fifteen years of age. Uh, you know, seventeen doesn't matter. Probably we'll probably be looking for people. Like fifteen's a fine age, but like if people are seventeen that are wanting to help out, we'll probably put priority on them, just yeah. based on, you know, circumstances. Because I think most of the people who are already part of the team are older. Yeah. So, and then the next thing is uh, prior experience. Like, write down like what prior experience you have, kind of like what I just talked about, researching and any. building. And anyone that does will have an advantage being accepted, because you know, <laughs> practice makes perfect, especially when building. This. <laughs> yeah, Titanic. So, and then what skills and knowledge you can bring to the team. Make sure to be specific. Like I would like I put that in there just because we thought. We would get some applications that were just like, I know about the interior. <laughs> oh, so specific. And dot, dot, dot. Yeah. And then the last thing, which is kind of a fun one, and this one, this one's just a kind of fun, think about it, like an interesting fact that you know. And But try to give us an interesting fact about the Titanic that you think we know nothing about. And the more, uh, the more detailed and the more complex it is, the better the chance you have it stumping us on it. And that'll really show in-depth research and, you know... Knowledge and... Right passion for learning interest, about the ship. Yeah. Not just a general, like, Wikipedia search kind of thing. Yeah. And then make sure when you do send in the application as well to... If you have screenshots and stuff, you can link me to them on, like, whatever imgur or the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Photo Shack, I think that's one. <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> and then, but make sure you type, make sure, send the applications to me on my YouTube page. Yes. And make sure to title them Titanic Application. That way, like, it doesn't go unnoticed for something else or I'm confused when... Yeah. I'm just those, looking at random messages and stuff. And for those of you watching on my channel, I will post a link to ZBLDS's channel so you can message him. Because awesome. I'm going to be busy with work and life, adult life, so <laughs> I probably won't have time to reply to them. Um, and actually, as a special treat, we are going to show you what's inside here. We decided yeah. to kind of build uh, one of the rooms. This is, uh, I believe, B, this is B-59. B-59. So it's a state room. Just to give you an idea, like what this is, well, like what we're kind of going for here. Yeah, we we wanted to get an idea of what the scale was like and what furniture is going to be like in these rooms. And so, walking through here, as you can see, the level of detail we decided to go into this is really yeah. crazy. And actually, I'm going to set up right here and go into first person mode. And right next to the video, I'm actually going to put up a vi uh, picture of the actual stateroom. Oh, that's you'll smart. Yeah, because. You'll actually see that this is one of the, uh, when, if you type in on Google or Yahoo or whatever, Titanic first class stateroom, this is usually one of the main pictures that'll show up, kind of the iconic ones. It's in a lot of books. And you can kind of see how it compares to the Minecraft version in 4 to 1 scale. So pretty neat stuff. Yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun, I can think, for interiors, because... This really get like four to one, really gives an added level of, of complexity detail. and detail that isn't really possible in any scale smaller than it. Four to one is actually yeah. I calculated, and I think this is why the Russian team also did four to one and not five to one or whatever. Like a more, you know, appealing number. Five is always more appealing than four. It's just because the height limit of Minecraft actually starts to get in the way especially with the masts and the funnels. Right. And so any, like, four to one is, like, the max. Like, the tops of the masts actually get cut off by the height limit, so you have to sort of work around that. I've already worked around it. It's not that big of a deal. But any bigger is impossible. And so this is what we're going for. Yep. So I guess thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you guys are interested... Go ahead and uh, send ZBLDS the application, application, and uh, hopefully we will see you guys soon. Yeah, get this ship well built, and hopefully in a uh, update in a update video of this because we'll probably have hopefully at least a uh, three week progress update video. Like every three weeks, we'll have a progress video or something. We'll based try. On, based, <laughs> yeah, based on how much we get done. It won't be anything fancy. Like it'll just be showing the ship, maybe some background music or commentary from the builders. But hopefully, uh, we'll. How long should we have the applications open for? Um, I would see. probably say try to have them in within two weeks. Yeah, we'll probably close the deadline around the three week mark. So the soon, but the sooner you get your application in the better chance probably you'll have of becoming part of the team. Because, I mean, we've kind of already started the project, and anyone that we can get right away is really beneficial. Because, yeah. I mean, we're already, you know, ankle deep in the project. I mean, probably not even that much, considering how much needs <laughs> to be done. But. This isn't a project that's going to be done anytime soon, but you get the idea. So any help we can get, you know, right away is... Greatly appreciated. Really, yeah, really appreciated. So, good luck to you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. We hope to actually see you soon. kind of interested to see how many people would be interested in helping yeah. us out. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yep. Two thousand subscribers just got last week. So Yay. I don't know. I'll try to have something. I don't know because again, as I <laughs> keep restating, I don't have the editing capabilities to do like another special. Like I did with 1,000 subscribers with Two Play, Dead, uh, The Manning Turtle. Oh, so, that was awesome! I forgot about that. Yeah, that that, that was pretty cool. Who won that? I think it was. I think it was. Uh, it was. I think it was you. I did win. Yeah, you did win. But anyway, yeah. Digress. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. 
and I will try to respond to your applications as soon as I can. Alright, yep. see ya. Good luck. Thank you.